Did you get any sleep? Some. Not in our bed. I woke up several times. Your side was empty. You'd be surprised how comfy that chair is. You can't keep going on like this, Cranley. Like what? Running on empty. You know, I got you something. Maybe it'll lift your spirits. What is that? This isn't happening. Here. What's wrong? Are you kidding me? You're blackmailing me to stay married to you. And that's supposed to, what, make me feel better about that? No, it's supposed to make me feel better. <laughs> Holding bogus evidence over my head. That must be really rough on you. Do you think this is easy for me? I think it's sick. I hate having to do this. You don't have to do anything. You could end this insanity right now if you wanted to. But you can't, can you? Okay, you know something? You have selective memory. Do you realize that? Exactly what am I forgetting? How the people in this town, Ryan, Erica, your own father, how they all turned their backs on you. How ever since your accident, I was the only person on this entire planet you could turn to. To stab me in the back. That is not what I'm doing, Greenlee. Do you know where the word diamond comes from? I'm really not up for a vocabulary lesson. Adamus. Right now. It's Greek for unbreakable. Fascinating. I bought this necklace not only because it reminded me of us, the bonds that we share. I bought it because it reminded me of you. Strong, determined, unbreakable. You were those things, Greenlee, and so much more when you came back to town. And you could be all those things again if you really want to. You're amazing. You know that? Sleeping like a baby, buying me gifts, pumping me up with pep talks, acting like I've changed, like I've let you down somehow when you're the one who's threatening to send me to prison for something I didn't do. And the best part is, you did it. You messed up, David, not me. You sabotaged Erica's plane. For you. And because of that, she almost died. And now because I went and bruised your little ego, you're, you're allowing me to take the fall for it. Do you really think that's what this is all about? My bruised ego? We got married, Greenlee. We made promises yeah, to promises each other. Yeah, promises you broke and, over and over. And you didn't. Yeah, I did. I fully admit that. But the pathetic thing is, you can't. Oh, hey, what? Hey, what do you think you're doing? What I do every morning, going to work. Uh -huh. And you, you've got that meeting with the mayor about your suspension. Now, you've already rescheduled it once. So you won't be surprised when I reschedule it again. Angela, you're pregnant. You might be losing your eyesight. I think that warrants at least one sick day. I'm not ready. For what? You don't have to go public with this. Jesse, I'm not ready to stop living my life. Oh, Angela. Jesse, I won't treat patients. I know better than that, but I can still do some good from an administrative perspective. I don't doubt that, but... Look, someone needs to keep David in check. You know, for once, I don't care about David. I don't care about the hospital. I care about you and this huge decision we are facing. Your health versus the baby. Sweetheart, if that medication can stop you from going blind, I think you should really consider. We'll deal with it. Just not now. When? Later. Please. Please, Jesse, just give me later. Okay, so are you going to drive me or am I going to take a cab? I didn't need an escort. I know. 
Just thought I'd give you a ride. Maybe you should get one of those leashes. You know, the ones that extend out really far, tricking the dog into thinking that it's free, and then bam, surprise. <laughs> one press of the button. I think it's the one under your thumb. I get it. Yeah. Pretty sure you don't. I'm not trying to hover over you, Greenlee. No. Or control you. Mm-mm. Just won't let me out of your sight. It's called being supportive. Job well done, David. I'm really feeling the love. Hi, it's Greenlee. I need to see you. I know, I know, but it's important. I need your help. <laughs> 